complex story, it's a love story, it's mystery, thriller, all weaved together, you know, a certain plot twist, and everything ties up about this one family, and everything they're trying to do to survive, and, you know, there are people that's hard to, they're hard to root for, but you root for these people anyway, because you want them to see them succeed, but in doing so, they are doing something very terrible at the same time. But, you know, inside of that, there's different stories weaved inside about the love that people have for each other, the betrayals, the ups and downs, the successes and the losses. Also, once the story moves forward into the present day of the story, you know, you know, everything is just fast paced. Page turner, mystery, thriller, you know, you get a little bit of everything in this book. You know, it's, just, it's, it's, it's like a bundle. You know, once you turn the first page, you can't put it down. As an author, it's funny how the, the story just comes to you. You know, as you put the, the, the pen to paper, the words just come out and the story just, it's, it's like a birth of something creative. And, you know, it's just like, well, let me do this, let me write this, and see how it comes out. And, you know, it was just magical, basically, you know, to put myself in the mindset of a slave actually escaping from a plantation and what it would be like to, to, to actually kill someone for my freedom and try my best not to get caught, knowing what would happen to me if I did get caught. Well, as an author, you that's what I want. I want you to feel the story. I want you to be there. That's why when I sign the book for people, I always say, enjoy the journey because I want you to actually go on a trip. You know, I want you to actually get in the skin of these people and, and relive, you know, the past, the present, all again, all the ups and all the downs, you know, the richness, the betrayal, the love. You're going to fall in love with some of these characters. You're going to hate some of these characters. When I was younger, the story that came to me, I said, a oh, what if? And the what if had just stuck with me for years. And when it was finally time to actually write, write a story, I used the what if. And I said, well, what if somebody had a plantation and they never got the memo that slavery was over and they continued to keep this, this, this plantation going for centuries, you know, and basically I knew that was kind of impossible to do, so now I had to tweak that what if and make it where as though a conspiracy was involved for somebody to actually make this machination, you know, into, you know, to evolve into something, you know, what it turned out to be, a, a grand conglomerate corporation that dominated the, the industry for, for over a century and a half. So, basically, as I put the what if out there, and the story, like, again, it just, just magically just came together. As you keep writing, 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 you know, it just formulate into to a page, a sentence turns into a page, a page turns into a chapter, chapter turns into a book, you know, and, and basically it turns into the secret kept. But, you know, once you pick this up, you'll never be able to put it down. I grew up in this area, 52nd and Larchwood, Park. Spent a lot of days out here as a young boy, <laughs> being bad. <laughs> and uh, I knew I wanted something different. Always wanted something different. You know, I knew it was going to take something special to make a difference happen. You know, and, uh, I think that's kind of the motivation into writing a story that, you know, that it had the possibility of actually changing my life, you know, and helping me uh, become something that, you know, become something different than what I was on the path to become, mm -hmm. you know, and that difference will be better and that I can impart to somebody else and, you know, show them there's another way. Everybody having a great time remembering Raz? I remember seeing Raz's name all over the place when I was a kid growing up. You know, and he was famous, you know, and the medicine that had gone. So I'm here today to uh, promote the Secret Cat, uh, the book about the Walker family and their. It felt great to stand up in front of these people that probably watched me as a kid, as a young teen, you know, to, you know, to see that, you know, I didn't end up in some gutter somewhere, you know, that, you know, we can make it, we can do something different, mm -hmm. you know, we can change, you know, because I have definitely changed, and uh, we can become something, you know, so it felt good. Hopefully I was an inspiration to somebody out there. Please, go online, go 
to Black and Nobel. Go to blackandnobel.com. Go to wherever you think you can find this book. And please purchase a copy of The Secret Kept. You will be thoroughly entertained. You will come with a knowledge of something different. And you're going to enjoy the book. You're going to enjoy the journey. So please, partake in the journey and purchase The Secret Kept. Thank you very much. Appreciate your support and please come out to the book signing August 14th from 4 to 8 p.m. And uh, everybody can see you uh, enjoying yourself this afternoon and have a great time. Thank you very much.